Kia ora and welcome to Kiwi Cop Stories. I'm Simon White, former New Zealand police officer turned crime writer. And I'm bringing you guys all the stories straight from the mouths of former and current Kiwi Cops. Today I'm with Guy. Guy's a former police officer and today he's going to talk to us about a story of a confession. Nine o'clock at night, driving back to Mount Wellington Police Station, thinking oh, I might get some Burger King or something on the way home. <laughs> driving down a road and see that somebody's driven through a fence and people are out and thinking oh I'm in a marked patrol vehicle I'm going to have to stop <laughs> so pull up they said oh some guy's just crashed through a fence he's stopped the car a couple hundred meters down the road so go down find the car pulled up on the side of the road I walk up to this guy and um, he goes you've got me I said I'm sorry he goes you've got me and he goes I said got you for what goes murder all right <laughs> okay you want to tell me more he goes oh yeah i'm on bail for murder so i said so you're breaching your bail and he goes yeah okay i said you're under arrest for breach of bail simple as <laughs> no problems obviously identify him as their driver so went through and did the excess breath alcohol procedures and he was obviously over the limit we're back at the station we finished off all the eba procedures and he asks me for a cigarette and to step outside and have a cigarette and it's like well everything's done yep no trouble take him outside offer him a cigarette and just stand with him and not say anything and then he literally raises his arm and goes this is what killed her this is what did it just like that just like that puts his hand back down and just continues on having a cigarette you know, I knew absolutely nothing about the case, but obviously, being the young keen constable that I was, I wrote these <laughs> notes down <laughs> in my notebook. Uh, and about half an hour after that, I see a couple of detectives that say, Oh, have you made a note of that? And I said, Yeah, yeah, this is what I've done. Just invite him to go and sign it. So pop him to the cell because obviously he's under arrest and he's in custody. Yep. And go and say, Oh, this is what you told me. And he goes, oh, I didn't say that. And it's like, You yeah, did. And he goes, he's literally sits here, thinks about it, and nods his head. I said, Do you want to sign my notebook? He goes, No. And I rang the officer in charge at half past 12 in the morning, so just after midnight. Yep. And said, Look, I've just picked this guy up for a breach of bail and an excess breath of alcohol, and this is what he's told me. Um, essentially, he's confessed the murder to me. And you could hear this senior sergeant essentially falling off his chair and things getting just knocked off his desk <laughs> and this little bit of joy <laughs> going on that he finally had some admission <laughs> as to what had happened from a homicide that had occurred essentially 12 months before. Wow. So why do you reckon this guy told you this? To this day, I have no idea why he just decided to essentially blurt out what he did. Maybe a feeling of guilt, perhaps? Oh, quite possibly a strong feeling of guilt, but it was just wasn't expected totally out of the blue and no rhyme or reason as to why he said what he did. Now that story just shows you that confessions can come out of nowhere even for serious offences such as murder. I hope you guys enjoyed that story as much as I enjoyed sharing it. Please like the channel, share it with your friends and visit my website silentwhite.com. See you guys.